Hi, I'm Jamie Kalel. Uh, I'm at the New Orleans Music Box. Um, tomorrow I'm taking my shack, the water organ shack, uh, out of here and I would like to present aspects of it before I take the instrument out of it and it won't be the same again once I, once I move it. Um, I'm moving it from here into a friend's yard and uh, it's going to be a glorified uh, utility shed basically. Okay, this is the device that I call the water organ and what it does basically is it takes a sound, in this case the sound of a keyboard, and that sound then is pushed through water and that changes how the sound sounds. Up here in this box are speakers and here you can hear the sound of the keyboard unaffected coming uh, in, in this box though, that's where that's coming from is in here. Inside of this box, directly above this pipe is one of these. Um, basically it's a speaker, uh, Thurston Moore destroyed this one, uh, on top of this pipe and it's blowing the sound straight down the pipe. And there's, the air can come in here and go down, and, um, but it works because the speaker blows the air or shoots the sound straight down the pipe and it's the most direct pathway uh, to the water. And at the bottom here is water. So when I open this up or close it, it lets the air go through into the water or not. Okay, so now I'm going to open it up. So what I then do is move the water by turning on this blower motor. So you can hear the sound of the water sloshing around. And so now the sound that was flat is shaped acoustically by the water movement. And um, in my mind, it's akin to gargling or something like that. Um, and of course, you get a watery sound, which is, you know. Initially, I wanted to do this with um, oil instead of water because water evaporates. But I think um, humans have a natural. Um, instinctive relationship to water and so um, I decided to stick with water and unfortunately water evaporates so I have to f refill it every now and then but um I simply uh, take out the cork here and then I take this little rubber syringe and squirt water into it and um, hopefully that sounds good let's see It's almost over full, but whatever. So, uh, so I'll close it up. And in the age of digital effects, um, it's really cool to be able to make an effect with um, physical objects. So here we have a lever that allows me to let the air, um, I can block the air going into the um, speaker container or uh, I can let it go and so you can hear there that the, wa the air is moving and so it's moving the water but I can stop it And up here we have the roof which is covered in oyster shells. Um, I carried them five gallon bucket by five gallon bucket from Press Street which is about four blocks away. Uh, there's a, a big pile of them by the railroad tracks. Um, and they're all just sitting up here. They're not, they're not glued down. So uh, the thing that's amazing about that is that they haven't come off in a year and a half. And a few months ago there was a hurricane and uh, they still didn't come off. So uh, I don't know, I'm pretty impressed by that. And I certainly didn't want to have to put them all back up on there again, but um, when I move the shack tomorrow, they're all going to fall off. Um, so, yeah. All right, let's uh, do the ladder thing. Um, I think I'll just do one, I think we'll just do one ratchet and strap. Jamie, why don't you get over on this side and pull the...
Thank <laughs> you. 